Hello, Crankers. So today I came visiting a hardy gurdy collector, <laughs> Patrick Jakes. I am able to try uh, lots of hardy gurdies from the 19th century. And of course, you will be with me. I will be showing you how these beauties uh, sound. And uh, I will probably try to tell you a little bit of the story behind them. <laughs> This is Sergio from the editing. Uh, I just received uh, a call by uh, uh, the collector uh, himself, uh, Patrick, and he told me all of the hardy gardens that we tried will be for sale. So if you're interested in uh, acquiring uh, one of these uh, amazing museum pieces, uh, let me know. You can write me an email and I will put you in contact with uh, Patrick. If you are curious about the prices, all of the hardy gardens that you will see in this video will uh, sell in between 2.5 uh, thousand uh, euros and 3,000 more or less depending on the on the instrument and now I let you with a test enjoy it so wow instruments of 200 years already this instrument that I am holding comes from 1878 <laughs> so it was contemporary with uh, Chopin how amazing is that this one is a, a decant the Kant Hardy Gerdy, this instrument was made in uh, around uh, half of the eight, 19th century and it's still uh, playable and in very good condition. Uh, it was uh, restored actually by Sedo Garcia. Uh, you all know Sedo <laughs> because I, I play Gurdis uh, by him. Uh, let's have a look. It's a traditional French Hardy Gerdy, two, two, and two. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, so this Hardy Gardy was made by Jean-Emile Pouget in uh, 1878. Jean-Emile Pouget was a luthier from um, Chateauroux, Chateauroux, and he won quite a lot of prizes. Uh, I will list them in the description so you can uh, have a look. Let's see how it sounds. Well, uh, I did not say anything, but uh, this is same concept as the other one, two, 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 traditional French Hardy Gardy. <laughs> So what do we have here? We have a Hardy Gurdy by Nicolas Colson. It was made around the second half of the 19th century. So this would be around 1850s, more or less. And uh, it's interesting. M my theory is that the head is uh, Chopin, but uh, we don't know it. <laughs> the Hardy Gurdy is uh, pretty uh, original and, and it's very, very loud. I, I really like the sound. Super trumpet. As you can see, this one needs a little bit of work, uh, especially on the tuning the tangents and uh, general adjustment. It's functional, okay? It just needs a little bit of uh, adjustment. But as you can see, the sound is very full. Sounds amazing. And super, super trumpet. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Example of a Colson Hardy Gurdy. 
So we have a loot bag made by uh, Pierre uh, Tixier. He was a craftsman from uh, Pajot. He used to work on the Pajot uh, atelier in uh, Gensa, but he started making his, his own hurdy gurdies 1850 something. <laughs> We are saying this is one of the favorites, one of our favorites of today, <laughs> of this taste of Hardy Girls. This one is a Louvet copy made by Thomas uh, Norwood in Paris in uh, 1993. Sadly, this maker passed away some uh, months ago. Uh, he was very, very famous for uh, his uh, guitars and he only made uh, very, very few uh, hardy gurdies. One of the most interesting things about this hardy gurdy is the, actually the, the, the wood, the wood choice for the, for the top, because uh, it's what it seems to be um, Cuban mahogany, uh, which is a very rare uh, species of, uh, of wood. Let's see how this fantastic Louvet copy sounds. As always, when I go out to record videos, I get too excited and I forget to say goodbye. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video. Keep on cranking. Bye.